In this video, I'll show you how to use the shortcut text effects and we are going to create an animated subscribe button. If you're new to my channel, my name is James and I create video and tutorials to help you to leverage text so that you can create greater impact in your life. I have my clip here on my video track. I'm going to add another video track. So first thing you need to do is to go and open other. We're going to add a color and I'm going to select a color that is red. So you may want to choose any other color. Uh, because it's a subscribe button on YouTube. I'm just go with red, click on OK, pause this and bring it down onto your timeline. We're going to leave this for now. And then the next thing that you need to do is to add another video track. And this time we're going to open other again, open other color. And this time you just want to have a transparent layer. Uh, although it looks black, that's fine. By the time you drag it onto your uh, video track, you won't see anything at all because whether it's on or off, it is still uh, transparent. What we want to do next is to add a filter and we are going to add a text filter onto this uh, timeline and just gonna change this to subscribe. If it looks good, you are good to go. The next thing that you want to do is to add a mask filter Search for a simple mask. Once you have that done, make some adjustment to lower the mask. Adjust the position as well as the width. Once you have that done, the next step is actually to add a keyframe. Add the keyframe and adjust this to the left. Next, change this to minimum. This is how it should look. Next, go back to your timeline, go to your second layer now, add a size and position filter, select distort, change this to something like this, and then check it, see that it looks good. If it looks good, you are good to go. The next step is actually to add a keyframe. What you want to do is actually to keyframe the size, make sure it's somewhere here. Move this keyframe over there. Let's play this and see how it goes. You may need to make some final adjustments to make the uh, color go on at the same time. So there you have it, adding the subscribe button. All you need to do next is just to add a bell button if you want to have a bell and a notification and there you are done. I hope that you found this video useful. You can also check out my other playlist over here. Now, uh, some of the techniques that I teach is applicable to any software that you use, whether it's Shortcut, Filmora, Premiere Pro. So uh, do subscribe and get notified whenever I release a new video.